Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Alright, I've got two uh, new little junk journals that I've just finished. Um, they're both very similar, um, so I'll do a, a longer flip through through one and then a quick one through the other. Um, as you can see, we've got three signatures uh, in both of these, and they're both using the same fabric. Uh, fabric the same papers on the outside um, of the cover and then on the spine I just did uh, tea dyed paper on the spine uh, they each have a similar uh, collage on the front of their covers and they also both have the same sari silk closure so let's put this one off to the side and we'll do a little flip through of this one uh, I made this a little longer so that if your journal gets a little fatter it will grow um, and then you can still <laughs> obviously close your journal um, and so yeah we got some lovely uh, bunching there from my nice sewing machine <laughs> was really working with me that day uh, but actually we like that for junk journals so all right so throughout uh, the papers are all going to be tea dyed and then um, they came from the same paper pad that is can hear that it's not thick paper uh, not thick cardstock and I chose all like blue colored designs um, so these are both going to be very blue um, with hints of browns and um, really you know creams and things so and then uh, some little collages and pockets throughout so little tea dyed uh, piece of ephemera there uh, lots of writing space, lots of room for you to add your own special touch. Uh, there's a little collage on this um, belly band here with some little bits and pieces and stickers and things. Um, even this, I, I try to keep blue as the, kind of the main theme throughout. So there's the middle of our first signature. Um, Another little pocket with a little collage there. Uh, I love this size. Uh, I don't know if it's the same exact size as pocket size, uh, like for a traveler's notebook, uh, but it's very similar to that size. It's the perfect size if you want a little journal to throw into your purse and take with you everywhere. This would be a great one to do that with. I absolutely love how this one came out. It's just so fun. Uh, little bugs on the other side with another piece of uh, journaling paper there. Um, yeah, so had a lot of fun making these little journals. Um, it's very enjoyable, actually. <laughs> I was excited about them, so um, it's kind of fun to do a theme and kind of stick with that and. It's simple, but uh, I think the foundation is there for you to really make it your own um, and add to it how you want. And even if you want to just use it for random little notes, you know, that's fine too. Because, you know, we need pretty things for our everyday, uh, sorry, I'm trying to stay in the shot here. Uh, we need uh, pretty things for our everyday life. Um, so I don't know about you, but... I would much prefer writing my notes in this uh, rather than a plain white little notebook. Um, so uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, and then yeah, the back or the inside front covers are um, that same uh, paper again. Nice little bird sticker there is a washi sticker. So there's that one. Let's quickly uh, walk you through this other one. It will be a little bit different, but very much the same. Again, with the same um, paper on the inside. Another belly band here. It's a little bit of fuzz or something. But yeah, same papers. Uh, so your differences are going to be your pockets and your collages. But again, all using the same kind of materials. Um, so they'll be very similar. Even this school, um, elementary school writing paper had some hints of blue in it from being tea dyed, which was perfect for these little journals. So, 
kind of get an idea. That was the second signature. Here's another little pocket there. Um, I love this one. It's so pretty. Little damask pattern. Here's another little belly band. And there we go. So there is a look at those two sweet little journals. The link to my Etsy shop is going to be in the description box below. Um, if you don't know where that is, under the title of the video, you'll see a little snippet of um, text and it'll, it should say more. Just click on that more and it'll expand it down and then you can see all the information about the video and any links or whatnot um, that are mentioned. So. Hope to see you again soon. Um, I'll, I'll have these available. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.